Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create six-part animated gear graphic easily in PowerPoint. The beautiful animated gear graphic you will learn to create today looks like this. On a click, I bring in the first part of the gear, then the second part, the third part, fourth part, fifth part, and the sixth part. Of course, you can always have this in a colored version like this and you can choose any color that you want and this is very very easy for you to create and I'll show you how to do it from scratch. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Stars and Banners, I'm going to pick up this one called as Star 32 Points. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to hold the Shift button down as I draw a star like this. Then. I'm going to hold this yellow handle and then move it slightly inside so that I can create these serrated edges a little bit more pronounced. Then let me go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the oval tool, hold the shift button down as you draw a perfect circle and then place it just above the earlier shape. To make sure that both the shapes are aligned perfectly, I am going to select both the shapes, go to Arrange, Align and say Align Middle, then Arrange, Align and say Align Center. Then let me go to the Format tab, go to Merge Shapes and then say Intersect. Now we have got our gear shape in place. Now I am going to put a hole in the middle. For that let me go to the Home tab and pick up the same oval tool and I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw a smaller circle that fits in the center. Then I'm going to once again ensure that it is all properly aligned, align center and align middle. And then I'm going to say shape subtract. So let us go to format, merge shapes and say shape subtract. Now it is time for us to break this down into six parts. For that, once again, let me go to the same stars and banners option. This time I'm going to choose this shape called star six points. I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw the shape here. Then I'm going to pull this yellow handle here, adjustment handle straight to the center so that this is as narrow as possible. So you can't have it as a straight line like this. You need to have a bit of thickness because we are going to use this to fragment this piece here, the gear piece into six pieces. Then I'm going to select both the shapes, go to Arrange, Align, Align Center, Arrange, Align, Align Middle. So we know that both are properly aligned. And then let me go to Format, Merge Shapes, and this time I'm going to say Fragment. Beautiful. Now I'm going to just pick these pieces. I'm going to select this hold the shift button down as I select this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece and this piece. Control X to cut it. Then I'm going to select all these elements and delete so that I can bring it back by pressing Control V on the slide. Now I can always go to shape outline and say no outline and can choose a different color if I want to. Maybe in this case I can choose slightly uh, darkish gray color like this and now it is time to animate these elements. Animating these is fairly simple. I am going to select all these elements. The order of selection is important because I want to have this come first, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. And then let me go to the animations tab, go to wipe and I am going to have the wipe happen for the first three in the downward direction and then the next three in the upward direction. So let us go to animation pane. I need to have all the animation events happen on click. Then I'm going to have the first, second and third, the effect options changed to from top. And then you can see that fourth, fifth and sixth, the animation event happens with effect option from bottom. The way this will work now is when I go to slideshow mode, this is the first one, second one, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. Now there is one more thing we need to do and that is to add the labels along with the parts of the gear. For that I am going to go back to my earlier diagram. I am just going to select these text elements because you already know how exactly to write 
text using text box tool so I don't really have to teach you that I'm going to press ctrl C to copy and I'm going to press ctrl V to paste it now exactly everything is in place and whatever animation that I already have on this one I'm going to select and first I'm going to delete so that I can teach you how exactly to use animation for each of these the animation I'm going to use for each of these labels is a very simple wipe animation and I'm going to have after previous and then I'm going to have the direction from left in general so these three are from left for these three I'm going to have effect options from right excellent now we've got our text boxes beautifully animated now it is time to rearrange the elements here in the animation pane the first one goes right next to the first animation then the second text box goes to the second animation event which is this one then the third one then the fourth one then the fifth one and this one once again I need to say after previous as you can see there is a big gap between the previous animation event and this one so I'm going to say after previous so it is exactly after the previous animation event beautiful now let us go to the slideshow mode and see how this thing works on a click the first part and the associated label comes in then the second part of the gear then the third part of the gear with the label fourth part fifth part and sixth part Talking about presenting different components of an event, it is always a good idea to have multiple options available. I'm going to show you some creative options from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle where we show six different components presented in very different ways. All these templates I'm going to show you are taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle which allows you to convert any text-based slide into clear and compelling visual slide in a matter of minutes. The first example is this one where we talk about five parts of a puzzle. As you can see this is the first part of the puzzle, the second part, the third part, the fourth part and the fifth part. Another variation of this is this one where we talk about five parts of a puzzle but in a very different way. As you can see here we show the first part, the second part, third part, fourth part and then the fifth part. So these are two different ways in which you can talk about different components of an event. If you want to talk about six factors, take a look at this one. Here we talk about the first factor, then we bring the attention to the second factor, third factor, fourth, fifth and sixth factor. A variation is six parts puzzle where we talk about the first part here and the corresponding label is shown here. Then the next part, third part, fourth part, fifth part and the sixth part. If you want to take this idea to the next level, let us say you want to represent six factors that contribute to becoming number one, then you can use something like this where we talk about one part of the number one and then the second part, third part, fourth part, fifth part and sixth part. So when you do all these six parts, you would be able to be number one. Another example is this one which is not animated where we talk about six components of a business solution. If you want a hand-drawn variation, you can use something like this where we talk about six parts of a belief or six factors of an idea, etc. The best part is when you get comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, all these templates are ready-made available for you to pick and use. You will not be wasting time creating these concepts or graphics from scratch. You would just need to replace the sample text with your own text and your slides get ready in a matter of minutes and it is the smartest way to build your PowerPoint presentations. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. Please click on the link and find more about this useful product. This templates bundle can change the way you create your business presentations forever. Finally, if you want to receive exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers, please click on the link here and join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. You will not only get first access to our giveaways, our free email courses, etc., but you will also get exclusive product discounts and offers which is available only to our email subscribers. So go ahead, click on the link here, join our newsletter and take your PowerPoint skills to the next level. I'll see you in the next video.